Well, you know, our walkthroughs, you know, we had two weeks of, of conditioning and walkthroughs where, you know, we, we obviously didn't do anything full speed, but we were able to get a lot of stuff in, which is a good deal. Uh, but today was like the real first day with a football and, and throwing and, and going against each other and the enthusiasm was there. Uh, we're, we're probably, you know, further along in a camp uh, than we've ever been basically from the fact that we are allowed to have those, those uh, whatever the 12 days or whatever the NCAA allowed us of, of walkthroughs. So uh, it, it really, it really helped. And the, and the kids uh, did a great job. You know, we were, we were pretty far advanced for, uh, for our first day of camp, but this, this was August. We wouldn't have been anywhere near this far along. Yeah. I was going to ask you where you thought they sort of were, but having answered that, um, do you think that them being that far along will sort of allow you to do some extra things? I mean, get a little bit more advanced as, as sort of this period goes on? Yeah, it, well, usually, you know, as a camp goes, you you put a, you install and then you work it for three days and you install again and work it for three days and install again. And you really don't have, you know, all your packages uh, fully developed by the time you get to the first game because you're so worried about getting that base stuff in. And we were able to get, you know, a lot of work with our base, you know, our base stuff. So, uh, yeah, we're allowed to have a little bit more fun, I think. So uh, I think the kids like it, you know, not just lining up, you know, we line up all over the place and defense, you know, has a lot more blitzes and stuff, coverages and stuff in. So uh, it was, it was, like I said, the coaches did, a, the whole staff did a wonderful job getting this team prepared for uh, today. Hey coach, I should see you again and talk to you again. I mean, yeah. what have you seen from Tyler so far? Uh, he, you know, he's, he's, he's a quarterback, you know, you can tell he's been coached well. He's, he's, a you know, somewhat polished and, uh, he's a good leader to have out there. So I enjoy, uh, watching him go. And then Ferreter, Mike Ferreter is doing a really good job with him. Um, you know, mentally he's, he's, he's sharp and, uh, we just got to keep growing at that position. When you look at both sides of the ball on the offensive line and defensive line, you know, what have you seen from them and what do you expect them to do this spring season? Well, we, uh, you know, our, our O-line is a bunch of new guys, obviously. You know, Teron Carey had, has uh, the most amount of playing time in addition to Jacob Angel. But, uh, uh, you know, Jake Wilkerson uh, has played, you know, a little bit. He came in against North Dakota a couple of years ago and uh, in on two scoring drives. So I have confidence in him. I like uh, our depth at defensive line. Our, our top two uh, are, are really, are really going to be our – our, our two offensive line is really going to struggle against our two defensive line. And once we once – we, start putting pads on and hitting and all that. So uh, I like, I like the way uh, uh, Coop's got the, got the, that bunch playing over there. You know, does it kind of feel like real again, like the football season this year? With yeah. This yeah. I mean, days? yeah, yeah, it does. Uh, it won't, it won't be real until we put on full, you know, we haven't been in full pads since the Weaver game in 2019. Cause we didn't go full pads at all during, during the fall uh, mini camps. So we, uh, um, it, it won't feel, it probably won't feel real until we get to game week when we're you know, running scouts and going against the opponent defense and, and all that stuff, you know, until then it's just, you know, same old, you know, Bengals going against the Bengals. <laughs> you know, I asked Tyler about, you know, just seeing these teams opt out and just, you know, kind of just going along. Was it, is it stressful? Is it still stressful? You know, or is it kind of just out of your control? It's out of my control. You know, it, we're, our, as I've said all along, our administration, our health people, our, our athletic director, our, our trainers all do a wonderful job of, of, of keeping us informed of where we are, what we can do, what we can't do. And, you know, I can't, it, it would do me absolutely no good if for some reason they shut us down to, you know, be running around complaining. And it's just, my job uh, is not to determine that. My job is to, when we have the opportunity, get this team ready to play. And that's, that's what my focus is. I mean, just, you know, playing in the spring season, you know, is pretty much something that's different. You know, how do you take this adjustment from this spring season and just apply it to the fall as well? Uh, for, you know, for right now, the kids football is football. I think they just want to go play and they're enjoying playing. And, uh, you know, it, it'll be uncharted territory when, when we're done playing in April and then all of a sudden you, know, you got May off and then we're back at it again. It's going to be like a quick turnaround, kind of like what we went through, uh, kind of like what we went through, you know, we, we did the mini camps, uh, late October, early November. Then we took December off and came back in January and started up again. And all of us as coaches were sitting around going, God, it just feels like we just ended this thing. So uh, it'll, it'll probably be like that. But, you know, these guys, they've wanted to play. They want to play. Uh, they, I, I think this team needs to play. Uh, we, need, we need game experience. I mean, you guys feel like you might get some extra attention as well, too, being the only show in town and just kind of the only thing on TV, too. 
Dude, we're not though. Our our Degum women's basketball team, man, they're they're awesome, and the men are winning games. And you know, whatever we're doing, whatever we're doing here at Idaho State is right because you look at our women's basketball team being successful. Uh, ha- haven't had any games uh, canceled because of them. Our our men's team, same thing, uh, doing well in the Big Sky. Well, you know, far ahead of where they were at any point last year. And then uh, shoot, our volleyball team won one the other night. Uh, you know, wh- whatever we're doing here. Uh, within our, our, our quote unquote bubble or whatever you want to call it, whatever we're doing, uh, we're, we're doing the right thing and we're having some success. So, you know, I say credit to uh, Dustin Ensling there and, and Pauline Theros and, and President Satterley and, and all the health people that have been, you know, uh, giving us guidelines along the way. You feel that pressure now to perform now with all these teams doing well? Yeah, now it's easy. We, <laughs> no, shoot, we, hey, hey, we want to win. You know, everybody wants to, we, we want it. We don't want to be the one that lets that whole thing down. So, uh, you know, hopefully it'd be nice if, uh, you know, they decide to let fans in the games. I think that'd be the best thing at this point, but you know, whatever, we'll be ready to go one way or the other. And, uh, and, uh, shoot, you know, we aren't, you know, shoot Seton and, and, and Ryan and, and Sammy, you know, we're not the only show and wait till softball gets going. So, uh, soccer, you know, it's all, <laughs> it's, it's our, our poor training and equipment staff. This is the only time ever all 50, I think 15 or 14 or however many sports we have, uh, have been all been going at the same time. So, Coach, appreciate it. Yep. Rob, what were your thoughts on the, the new look schedule? I mean, playing Weaver to start and then the finish. Jeez. Yeah. yeah. How about that? So, it's like it's like Vanderbilt having to play dead gum <laughs> Alabama on both. No, we're, we're not that. But uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it, it's interesting. It, it's like the Canadian League. You know, everybody plays everybody twice, at least sometimes three times. So, that's how I'm looking at it. <laughs> Shooting if we're good enough, we'll meet them in the playoffs. <laughs> be three times. That'd be great. Split in the regular season. Yeah. And then play them in the playoffs. That'd yeah, that, awesome. Yeah, three times in a in a three times in an eight week period. That's interesting. <laughs> Anything that you want the kids to focus on, sort of in this period that you might not. Uh, just, camp? just, just getting better. You know, they got, there's a lot of things that they have to do that usually, you know, athletes don't have to do. They have to get up every morning and take a, a take a, a questionnaire to a health questionnaire and send it in. If they don't do that, they don't get to practice. They have to come here and get their temperatures checked, and, and they have to uh, wear their, you know, obviously wear masks around. There's a lot of things that they're being asked to do that, that in addition to what they always do uh, to do. And, and, and it's tough. And, you know, we're just trying to get them to focus on, on their assignment, you know, defense, uh, chasing the ball, offense executing, and then and then off the field taking care of academics because uh, you know a lot of classes are are what they call hybrid classes where it's half half you know in person and half online or whatever and and you know that's that takes a little bit of self discipline as well so a lot of things that we're we're chasing them around for right now. I'm starting to see a couple uh, commitments coming in. I mean, any idea of what we should expect for signing day? Uh, shoot, I don't know. Um... I don't know how many off the top of my head, but yeah, we'll have a handful. It'll be, it won't be the complete panic like it was back in December around here. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll have some bodies. <laughs> One more thing I wanted to ask was, you know, you guys, this, your transfers that came in and your high school kids that came in, they had a full semester now just with classes and being in that college environment. I think that has helped them too. Yeah, that's where there's some true freshmen that are, that are going to play. And uh, Joel Shalford, uh, Jalen Henderson are two that come to mind right away. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, you know, maybe those guys wouldn't have played had we played back in the fall and, and now they've had, you know, fall, uh, some fall mini camps and they're going to have a full camp. And, you know, it's like now they're, the only thing they're not seasoned at is, is game, game experience. 